birdies for the win. So far, I've birdied every hole. Uh, yeah, and these holes are very short. If, by the way, if you didn't notice there on the scoreboard, uh, I'll show you when I get back over there. Um, I had zero putts for the hole. How could that be? Because I used the putter. Um, in golf, they do not count putts as putts unless you're on the green. You have to be on the green surface itself for it to count as a putt. So you could actually lower your putting average if you make uh, putts off the green like that. Uh, it's, it's pretty stupid, actually, uh, in a way. Uh, you would think that a putt would be considered a putt if you use a putter, but it's not. I always found that really weird in golf, but hey, that's that's the way it's always been. Oh, I forgot to show the putts again. Dang it! Uh, I'll show it next hole. I just rambled all over the place talking about the putts, and I forgot to show the thing I was talking about. Wow. I just get so sidetracked sometimes by my own commentary. <coughs> Um, yeah, we're, we're already almost done with this course. Halfway done. Alright, scoreboard. Let's do it. Alright, C on the 8th hole there. Oh, wait, no, 7th hole. See that? Zero putts. That's because I put, putted off the green. If I put off the fringe or uh, off in rough, fairway, whatever, does not count as a putt. So weird. I just don't get it. Uh, the birdie challenge for this uh, course is a lot... Whoa! The birdie challenge for this hole is a lot easier than the one-on-one -on -one putt challenge because you don't have to get on the green. Uh, you can just land it on the fringe if you have to or whatever, but on the one-on-one -on -one putt you have to be on the green and that make, makes it so much harder. You wouldn't think it would be that much harder, but it truly is. Uh, it's kind of like the Elf Short Course on the Mario Golf games of the Game Boy uh, Advance or, and the Game Boy Color. Um, those are really hard uh, to get per uh, perfect runs on because of that one-on-one -on -one putt thing. Uh, the Game Boy Color one especially, they want you to shoot for nine holes. Uh, they want you to shoot a 17 to get the star badge for it, which is absolutely ridiculous because... That means you have to shoot a hole in one and all birdies, and the chances of that happening is so low that it's just so unfair. I, I actually never completed that challenge for the Game Boy Color version, and I don't think I ever will. Uh, but I do try it uh, on occasion, try it again on occasion. I it, it doesn't really frustrate me because I know it's totally unfair. Um, but it's just something that I like to try, just to kind of beat the odds, so to speak. Sort of like, uh, the I want to be the guy of golf. And I beat I want to be the guy, and it's, and that's not nearly as hard as trying to get the badge for that dang elf short course. <laughs> Seriously. Um, for the Game Boy Color version. The Game Boy Advance one isn't quite as bad. Um... So I'm already nearing the end. This is kind of sad. Uh, uh, that means that I will have shown all the courses in this game. Isn't that awesome? No, it's not. I wanted to keep playing this game. I'm having such a great time with it. Uh, I, I always have a good time with Mario Golf, unless I'm being really competitive about it, uh, which I don't do anymore, as I said before in the earlier part. Uh, when I when I was on that uh, Mario Golf tournament thing, trying to get the lowest score for Bowser's Badlands. Uh, tournament, but I don't do that stuff anymore, and I just hit the ball and have some fun. Nice shot, nice shot indeed, Mario. I think this is actually going to be pretty good. Yep, right behind the hole. And I shouldn't have much of a breaking putt here. Yep, I should be able to just adjust it a little bit and get the putt easily. Thank you, announcer dude. You are quite the assistance for telling me that that was a nice birdie. <laughs> um... Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, see those Don Donkey Kong barrels as T-markers? I forgot to mention, uh, when you get a hole-in-one, they turn to golden Mario statues or different colored Mario statues. So if you've seen all the Mario statues along the way that I've got, you'll know just how many hole-in-ones I got along the way. And trust me, I've got a lot of hole-in-ones um, on this game. I've played these holes a lot, I've loved them a lot, so I've played them a lot, and I've had a lot of lucky encounters with a lot of lucky shots. Um, I believe the best score I've ever got, gotten on this course was like 19 or 20 under par because I had a hole in one uh, or, or two with a bunch of birdies. That was, again, back when I was really good at the game. 
Um, I'm, I'm shooting pretty dang good on this course right now. Um, surprisingly for not playing it for so long. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a birdie for this tee shot here because of the way I hit it. And yeah, all I have to do is hit it uphill and not much break on it. Just got to get it up the hill. And that should be it for the hole. <coughs> the hole on the course. Yeah, and that's it for the courses. So I think that's about all that I'm going to be filming today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I might do the ring shot stuff later. I still have the Sonic and Knuckles um, bonus stages to do to get all the emeralds and stuff like that. But as for now, um, I thought I would do something a little bit different on the side. They have like two walkthroughs going on at the same time. Something I don't normally do. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, see you around.